guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today, guys, we're gonna be working on the 330i. Yeah, not the 335, the 330i. This car has been really re neglected in the past couple weeks or even a couple months now. I haven't been doing anything to it. Car needs a really good wash. That's number one, but that's not the priority. The priority is right now, guys. I don't know if you guys can see, but both sides of the bumper is destroyed. So, like, both sides are gone. Someone stole my emblem. You know, it, this car has really been neglected. And I haven't been washing it. I haven't been doing nothing to it. It's just been like, I've been driving it like a piece of garbage, even though it's not a piece of garbage. It's a very nice car, and I should treat it like a nice car, but I mean, you know. You were really disrespecting the car, man. This I, is the first relationship. It was the first relationship. Yeah, look, the car is like crying, man. And Muhammad is the one that told me to do this. So for those of you guys who love the 330i, um, shout out to Muhammad for actually telling me, convincing me to actually clean her up. Um, I might even go down to Walmart and pick up some, or AutoZone and pick up some wheel cleaner, just to clean up my wheels, because they haven't been cleaning forever either. Um, probably just do a full out detail if I can. Whatever, dude. <laughs> yeah, whatever, guys. So we're gonna go ahead, get to the car, start, um, you know, working on the front bumper. I'm probably gonna end up zip tying the front bumper up because the tabs for them are broken, unfortunately, from uh, when I had the lip. I don't know if you guys knew, but when I had the lip, it ripped it off on the highway because of the stupid Civic driver. His bumper just literally flew off on the highway, went right underneath my car, ripped my car with fiber spoiler. This is a Chucky Beat production. 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 But why does it <laughs> looks so much better already? 50 years later. Hold on, say that. 50 years later. How long did this take you? 50 years, had. All right, guys, honestly, I'm really stupid for neglecting this for so long. One zip tie on this side held that down pretty damn good, and one zip tie on this side held it down really dang good. I'm really stupid for not actually putting any zip ties on it. Other than that, it's, the bumper needs a cleanup, and it needs a logo that someone stole because they're cheap. I don't know who the hell steals an aftermarket logo. I don't know, man. But anyways, luckily for me, the hood I just got for the LCI 335 does have an extra logo, so I'll be able to slap that on here and uh, at least complete the car and make it at least presentable. This is your final call. Okay, guys. So, just got the rims and tires, and now I feel really satisfied. And what should I do next to my car? You're so cute. Oh, really? You mean sexy? Uh uh, nope, we're not going there. Anyways, he's. Uh, what? You're too polite. I'm too polite? Anyways, guys, let's go ahead. Uh, I'll show you guys what he's trying to say right here. So, you guys can see his car now. He's just wondering what else he should do next or what? He's wondering what he should do next, honestly. So, I mean, at this point, I think, in my professional opinion, that we need to get lowering springs. That's like. Oh, you're trying to get bags? No, coilovers, <laughs> No, that's cheap, bro. That's cheap. Really? Yeah, it's cheap. Well, yeah, for me, coilovers is an expensive thing. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't make much sense. It's about five grand. Oh, five grand. Yeah, for a good one, you know. Yeah, it's all right. Not too. Not a big deal. <laughs> Anyways, guys, yeah, I'm probably gonna get some springs. <laughs> like I don't like how the. Yeah, the gap is pretty really significant, big, yeah. honestly, but uh. We're thinking about also painting the black. We're gonna actually repaint the lip probably. No, we can, I'm gonna wrap it same color. Oh, wrap wanna, it black? I wanna, I wanna buy a splitter with the, what is it called? The oh, those two little metal rods. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. That would actually look pretty dope, but you need an extended lip as well for that. Yeah. And then, ah, pretty much too. I mean, maybe get a little mini spoiler. Yeah, spoiler. Yeah, spoiler might be dope. I love this, like the stock spoiler. Yeah. I love this, but. <laughs> I wanna um, buy other another spoiler. And I wanna like have a writing like on the, you know what I'm talking about? Like, yeah, I'm just talking about. Yeah. That'd be, be kind of dope, honestly. Yeah. Before, after. All right, guys. In about 20 minutes, I was able to put a new logo on it, fix up both sides of the bumper, and now the car is looking quite presentable. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it outside, give it a nice clean. Actually, I'm gonna detail the interior real quick um, because the interior is not the nicest. It has been a little bit dirty. The dash is a little bit dirty. The steering wheel. This is the one that came from the 335, so it's a little bit dirty. So go ahead and clean up the interior real quick, and then we're gonna go outside and take it out for a wash because this car deserves it. It hasn't got a clean wash in a long time, and I'm trying to see if I can get some tire cleaner. guys the last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and actually get all the water spots off my window this is typically the thing I use to get the water scenes off my window works pretty darn well so I'm gonna go ahead and use this before I actually wash my car then we're gonna go ahead and wash the puppy over there all 
All right, guys, I don't know if you can see all those water stains right there, but basically there's a lot of water stains, and I'm gonna go ahead and remove it all with this guy. And honestly, I removed all the water stains on this, the pillars, so that's actually very impressive. I didn't know it was actually gonna work that well. I removed all the water stains on the windows already. Um, obviously, these window stains have only been here for about a month, so I don't know if it's something that's been there like permanently will it come off, but you guys can see I have water stains like all over my wrap as well. Uh, I'm not gonna be doing this on my wrap. There's a different kit you can actually use for the body and paint, but this is mostly used for like trim and windows, so. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once you do all that, you wanna wash your car afterwards because there is still gonna be some sticky stuff. You wanna make sure you get a clean wash done. guys um it's been a little bit since i washed this car and just looking at it it's just like it reminds me of the good old days it looks beautiful it's honestly been two months ever since i got the 335 yeah not i've never washed this car since i got the 335 and now she's just looking gorgeous again uh reminds me of the good old days of course uh and i got you know i, I got the window spot removal i went ahead and detailed the interior somewhat I didn't get to the wheels, but I fixed up the bumper, put the logo on there. The car's looking presentable. Now, I, I don't feel as bad driving the car. It's a beautiful car, and it'll always be my baby, but unfortunately, you know, this will have to go one of these days. Um, and the 335 is probably gonna be the one that's gonna be taking its spot. But anyways, guys, um, I'll come back to you later tonight if I wanna continue this video. If not, it'll be a, you know, the end of this video. Uh, nothing personal, Actually, just. Yo, we might go to the car meet today. I think there's a car meet. The car meet? I think there's. We might go then, because our cars are clean. Yeah. And, uh, well, guys, ketchup. I'm feeling myself. <laughs> like, I can't stop For you Arabs, I don't know if you guys know what Keshach means, but we're gonna try to do that tonight, if possible. He's gonna wear it. Fake. Huh? And fake. And fake. Um, but, um, I mean, I'm sweating so much. It's so hot, guys. It's so hot. I don't even know what, what it is. I bet you if we say like it's 88, they're gonna be like, what the hell? <laughs> I'm in your house, man. Go give me some water. I'll, be, all right, I'll get you yeah. out later. I need to get my boy some water. All right, guys, so this is actually two days later. Um, dropped off the 335 at my house. It's at my house, thank the Lord. Uh, go ahead and turn down all this stuff. I don't know why the heater's on and the music's... Oh dear heavens, never ever record while you're driving. Anyways guys, so um, uh, I talked to Erlon. Erlon, I don't know if you guys know, he got a job at BMW, so shout out to my guy again. He's the one that's actually doing the 50-50 with me on this build. Again, link down in the description to his channel. Um, whatever I'm not doing, he's doing. So, like quarter panel work, he's gonna try to attempt to do it himself. The reason we purchased this project is to gain more knowledge on a car that we don't really care about. Like, it has a solid engine and training, and we can take our time building this. We don't wanna take our time, obviously, because we both wanna do content out of it, but at the same time, it's not like we have to rush it as quick, like I'm rushing the 335. I'm rushing the 335 because I wanna get this car sold. Once I get my 330i sold, let's just say I have something else crazy for you guys planned out, but I wanna get my 335 on the road because I wanna start taking out of the track and everything before you know winter hits because that's gonna be no fun. Um, I'm actually gonna be meeting Erlon down at Pink and Pole. I usually don't like going to pick a pull, but we're gonna be going today uh, because we need a lot of screws. And we're here at pick a pull right now. I'm with Erlon and his brother. We're actually gonna be going inside. I gotta check out the E90 that they have. Um, I'm not gonna be recording in there using this camera, it's too big. I will be using my phone, so the quality is gonna be a little bit different. Maybe not the quality, but the audio. But yeah, uh, we're gonna check out what they have. I know they don't have much, because we went there the other day. But uh, at least we're gonna get all the miscellaneous screws that we need. Guys, there's people trying to throw things over the fence. Look at that alternator down there. Oh, we're sure that trunk's failing. <laughs> you guys look over here, he's got all this barbed wire, because they don't want you, you know, stealing stuff. You got like, a, I don't even know, what is that, a window regulator? There's all kinds of crazy stuff, what the hell? Nah, we're gonna pay for ours, don't worry, we're gonna pay for ours. Noise, there's another bee crossing. Bro, chill, chill. <laughs> All right, guys, so we're gonna be taking the trunk and a few other miscellaneous pieces. Um, I don't know, we, we're also taking the Bluetooth and uh, a lot of little things. I really don't know what, exactly what we're taking, but most of this car is gutted, guys, unfortunately. <laughs> Thinking about we might get the trunk if it's a good price. We do need the control arm. Um, we do need the fiber optics, but I don't think in a living hell we're gonna get in there, so that's unfortunate. What is that, a subframe? This is the front subframe, yeah. Forget about that. Anyways, um, we could probably... Wow, oh, this, this thing's gutted, guys. Like, honestly, you guys, this is considered 
a bigger mess than the one we picked up the other day. At least ours has an engine and training. <laughs> Probably take the Spender too if it's a good price because ours, ours is dented. So we'll see. I don't know. We'll see. I mean, there's miscellaneous things. We do need all the screws underneath the seats. So uh, we'll pick up what we can. Oh, he kissed it. I just want to see him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, big boy, what are we doing with this bumper? Putting out my brother's car. On your brother's car? Asai! Asai! We're putting, okay, so yeah, okay, look at all the beamers. Oh my god, honestly, if my brother was here, it'd be complete. Alright, guys, so after that long day of getting parts and also them telling us how expensive the control arm was, I mean, it's a, it's a pick and pull. Like, why are they charging like $60 and $70 for some random parts? Anyways, um, so unfortunately, we can't get the car back up in the garage, but here's a car, guys, in actual daylight. Camera does not want to focus, but yeah, that's the car. Show you guys a car in a little bit. Oh my lord. Now that is what we bought. It's beautiful, isn't it? Radiator support is not on there. We still need to put the screws, unfortunately. But that's not big of a deal. At least the radiator support is intact. Nothing wrong with that. The main damage you guys saw was in the quarter panel. But let's go ahead and throw on that bumper real quick. Show you guys something else. Yep. Yeah, buddy. Man, you are having a hard time, aren't you? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, we need to get all that stuff. I know our priority right now, guys, is the radiator, natural headlights, stuff like that. But um, the car is sitting outside, so we do want it to be presentable for the neighbors and stuff. We don't want it to be too bad. Anyways, we got a super good deal on that bumper. I actually, um, I have his Instagram like right here for the guy that hooked it up on the bumper. He was selling this for 100. I told him, yo, can I get it for 55? Down the road, like, you know, after a little bit of arguing, of course, and we got it. It's an M Sport bumper for only 55 bucks, brand new. We're out here robbing people. All right, check this out, you ready? Come over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's funny watching you work, bro. It's so funny. Oh, yeah. So here is the magic. Oh, you guys already got... What the hell? We didn't mount it. We just put it on. Guys, so obviously we got a carbon fiber trunk right there. <laughs> I can't... It looks like a carbon fiber on the video. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. She's just a little crusty. She's a little crusty. Honestly, but yeah guys right there as you can see we got the truck on there already we got after we're gonna mount it too um, But the quarter panel apparently this dude says he can repair a quarter panel Hey, did you notice I, I watched it? it? Well, what you gonna put a whole lot of bondo? No, I said we could try to pull it out and see what we have left with if we can't fix it We're just gonna send it to a shop and actually have him replace the quarter panel. Oh, so they can send it to a shop Yeah Figures. Guys, all we need to do is get it replaced. You know, they don't need to paint it. They don't need a primer. It. We'll do all that. We'll wrap it yeah, we for sure. Fixed. For sure. And then we'll take care of the rest, obviously. Being as we only spent 150 on this car, no matter how much that costs, it'll be worth it. Boy, oh boy. All right, we're going to go ahead and get to work, guys. Sit you guys on a tripod and get this baby together. Obviously, none of this stuff is mounted. Literally nothing. Not even the dash. Nothing's mounted. Um, but we're going to go ahead and mount it all now since we got all the screws from pick and pull. Video? <laughs> I will. Okay. Ch one video? Chill. Oh, God. Why are you putting the can in the car? No, you just. Not like that, guys. <laughs> This is who our guest will be. We're being dropped off in this limousine. Is he even gonna come out? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the best part is if he, he actually didn't he come out. Like the paparazzi. <laughs> he doesn't like the paparazzi. Alright, guys, our times conflict, and I know I should come a little bit sooner, but just look. I know it's dark, I know it's dark, but just look at the progress, guys. So, you guys can see down here, we got the carpets, we got the, he's actually putting the door panel over there. Um, but yeah, the interior is all in here. The only thing we're missing is a CCC system, which of course is missing on mine too. And an airbag, we got a good deal on an airbag, so we're gonna go snipe that as well. And uh, yeah, look at that, looking mint. Even the back is mint, pretty much, for the most part. Uh, I'm gonna throw in the back seats in a little bit here. But the interior will be pretty much complete. I mean, honestly, this car will look pretty decent from the inside, just coming from things we've, we, you know, we had from doing our own retrofits to our own cars. And guys, again, Erlon and his brother do retrofits all the time, right, guys? Yeah. <laughs> so, if you guys, if you guys want to check out the channel down below, they do retrofits all the time, and that's why they have all this extra interior. And that's why another reason why we picked up this car, so we can just throw all, throw all of our parts that we can't sell into this car and just make it a complete car. Anyways, guys, so finally. Um, car's looking pretty decent. We're gonna start t uh, tallying up everything that we're purchasing for the car and we'll give you guys like, you know, the general cost of how much it costs us to pretty much rebuild this. As of now, we went out today, we spent about how much? I think like 60, $60? Yeah, so 60 bucks, we got the trunk and all the parts of the trunk, we got the negative cable as well. And then the other day I got out and I got the M Sport bumper and then I already have the hood um, from my 335, I'm gonna put the LCI hood on that. And then the headlights is being sent out by one of you guys. So again, this car is gonna be pretty much really low budgeted and I'm gonna see what the best we can do. The biggest concern right now, obviously, um, 
probably the quarter panel and the axle. So we're gonna fix the axle soon. We got in, we ordered those parts and we'll fix the quarter panel. But for the front end, we can pretty much get everything assembled. It's not that big of a deal. But honestly, it's the quarter panel. If any of you guys know uh, pretty much or can give any tips or are in the area that can help, uh, you know, tap weld. I don't know how what you do to these quarter panels. Hit us up. That'd be great. And uh, we'll make a video with y'all. This is what's going on right now. Oh my lord. <laughs> that is shot. So we need a whole new strut. What is that? I really hope that didn't really affect anything back there. That's crazy. And then uh, what else was damaged back here, Erlon? Because I don't know the terminology for all this. Oh, so damn. Got, these two control arms, they buckled. That is beautiful. The lower one as well. This one down here? It's way in there. You see in there how it's tilted? Oh, down here? Yeah, no further. Follow that arm. Oh, right there. here? Yeah. Oh, boy. So that's three control arms. Yeah, guys, I mean, I mean, looking at this without knowing anything about cars looks scary, but if you, if you know what to replace, I mean... This is an easy fix. You can probably get a car pretty cheap because of this one reason. It's not even drivable at this point. But yeah, this looks really terrible. Sure. So we're gonna have to go on offer up, probably figure out some good deals on that, but uh, not too shabby, not too shabby. Hey guys, welcome back to day two. Yeah, welcome back to day two. Um, so today guys, gonna be also working on the 330i of course, but also my 330i, the neglected car as you guys know. I'm actually gonna be cutting up the video where from some parts of yesterday I'm gonna put it in today's video, some parts of today I'm gonna put it in yesterday's video, mainly because it's just starting to get out of hand. I mean, things, you know, things keep, just keep coming up and things just, end up not working out. So, so Erlon is currently out right now, but me and Adrian are gonna be working on the 330i. Um, he actually just worked on his video all last night, right? Yeah. So it's dropping, when do, you think it's, when do you think it's gonna drop? In like a day or two? Uh, oh, you don't know? I'll see that. He put a lot of work into it. He doesn't wanna drop it so soon, but I mean, guys, you guys need to hold on. Make sure you check out his channel down below. He's gonna be uploading it soon. They did a lot of work themselves. But yeah, in the meantime, guys, um, my 330i, I don't know if you guys know, it's been neglected. It does have a little bit of a cold start issue. So it can either be vanos solenoids, spark plugs, or um, what's it called, ignition coil. So this 330i starts up perfectly, shockingly, has twice as much miles as mine, and it starts up very well. So I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and test fit all those. I also, also guys, I don't know if you guys know, but this side mirror right here, this is an electrical, like, I mechanic. Mean, I don't know what you call it, but uh, automatic side mirror. Yeah, that one right there. So you know when you try to control the mirror to come toward your direction so you get like the best angle so you can actually visually see? This one doesn't do that exactly. Like it doesn't move 100% where I want it to move. So what I got, I took off the mirror off that car and uh, that's the mirror I'm gonna be putting on this car. Then this mirror I'll put on that car. Because that car, you know, we're just piecing it together with what we have. Th these cars are our main daily drivers, so we're trying to make sure these ones are, you know, in best shape. Alright guys, so with my car, I'm actually having an issue with my ignition coils, I think, or my van also knows. So I'm gonna go ahead and replace all my ignition coils, and hopefully that should, uh, you know, fix my startup issue. Alright guys, so I'm really, really, really happy to say that after installing the side mirror, I checked out the side mirror, it works great. Installed two out of the six ignition coils that that 330 had because apparently they don't fit right. That's kind of weird that there's different kinds of ignition coils. Whatever. Put the ignition coils on here, just two, and it's already sounding a whole lot better. The idle is way better. So I know for a fact I need to order at least three more because I purchased one last month. So if I purchase three more ignition coils, car should run really good. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. She got me saying, yalla, huh, baby, I need you to see me. Quit with the front and then put your guard down, girl, we know you ain't easy. You know, you're all 